Hello everyone, welcome to the Weekly Rewind presented by Attractions Magazine. This episode is for Monday, March 23rd, 2015. I'm your host, Banks Lee. Let's dive right in, take a look back at the past seven days of our Twitter feed at Attractions, starting with March 16th, Bush Gardens uh, shared this photo of the Serengeti Railway and said that it was going to be temporarily closed as they start work on their 2016 attraction. No word yet what that attraction might be, but it's rumored to go in the Egypt area over there near Montu. We were over at the Dr. Phillips Center on this day as well to hear the announcements of what shows are coming to the Dr. Phillips Center of the Performing Arts for their 2015-2016 Fairwinds Broadway in Orlando season. You can find photos of what those shows are and a blog post all about it on our blog at attractionsmagazine.com. On March 17th, BioReconstruct on Twitter shared some aerial photos of the Orlando area. First up, this photo, you can see the Orlando Eye and the Sand Lake area of International Drive. Here you can see the enormous scale of the construction over at Downtown Disney as it's transformed into Disney Springs. Really it, it it really looks just all dirt. It's it's amazing. You don't realize just how much is being done when you're there on the ground until you see it from the air. This is going to be going on for about another year now. It is scheduled to be completed sometime around this time in 2016. And then here you can see an aerial shot of Avatar construction over at Disney's Animal Kingdom. He has a couple more shots from Disney's Hollywood Studios over on his Twitter account, so be sure to go give him a follow. Shared this Vine post of our brand new spring issue of Attractions Magazine getting delivered, opening the box, scrolling through the pages a little bit. You can subscribe to the magazine at attractionsmagazine.com. The issue is also available in our digital app on iOS and Android devices. Also on March 17th, Mickey Extreme on Twitter shared a photo right here of some construction walls. Now, it's got rock work and skulls on it. This is the construction wall that's over there at the unannounced construction project in Islands of Adventure at the Jurassic Park area. Hmm. Skulls, rock work, Skull Island, perhaps? Little teaser. Maybe Universal's getting ready to make an announcement sometime soon. Here's hoping. We were over at Magic Kingdom. We found this new sign, at least new to us, hadn't seen it before, at the Haunted Mansion. It says, no more than three mortals per Doom Buggy. A lot of attractions have started to get signs like this. Uh, I think Peter Pan also has a sign like this as well. On to March 18th, Rich OBJ on Twitter shared a couple of photos here of the signs for Orlando Sea Life Aquarium and Madame Tussauds Orlando being installed outside their respective location at iDrive 360. Magic City Mayhem on Twitter shared this photo of a, a brand new Doctor Who cart that just opened recently over in CityWalk at Universal. And Touring Plans on Twitter shared this photo of a brand new uh, grilled cheese kiosk over near Test Track at Epcot. Uh, Fortunately, they say the uh, place closes at 7, so uh, be wary of that if you're heading over to Epcot. On March 19th, Crushinator on Twitter shared uh, this photo of the Blue Angels flyover happening at Magic Kingdom. We have video of this on our YouTube at youtube.com slash attractions magazine, so be sure to check that out. Also on March 19th, we were over at the Marriott World Center for the Mermaid Academy. Here you can see our show reporter Alyssa in her mermaid tail. You'll see, be able to see a full report on this on this Thursday's episode of the show. Also on March 19th, Ditch Kingdom shared uh, this photo of some of the pens from the upcoming Disney film Tomorrowland, which are going to be on sale by Funko sometime in May. Their pre-orders are already now available on the Funko website. You can go to at Original Funko on Twitter to check that out. Also on March 19th, visit Crayola ORL on Twitter. Share this photo of the sign for the Crayola experience at the Florida Mall has been installed. No word yet when this is going to open. Uh, hopefully sometime this summer is what we're hearing. On to March 20th, Fun Spot America shared this photo of the construction wall for their gator spot at the Orlando Park. Nice little mural that they got painted there that should be opening within the next few months. Also, we shared this photo of our new spring issue now available over at Theme Park Connection. So if you don't have a subscription or you don't have the, the iOS or Android app, you can buy a copy over there at Theme Park Connection. Also on March 20th, we were over at the Entertainment Designers Forum. In fact, I was moderating both panels for the forum. You'll be able to see a full video of both 
sessions on our YouTube this week. On March 21st, we shared this fun little Vine post. Uh, sometimes, you know, you're with your friends, you're riding the TTA, and they group you into two separate carts, and then you find out, oh, they're in the back cart of the car in front of you, and you just wave goodbye as they head on their trip. We also shared this Vine post of a preview of Sea Lion High over at SeaWorld, the new Klein Seymour show. It was announced that it will be debuting on April 16th. Also on March 21st, uh, our boss Matt and his family went on a uh, started their Disney cruise for a week. They're out there uh, t- cruising it up on the high seas. You can see this photo, Disney Cruise Line bus heading toward the port at uh, Port Canaveral. They shared uh, on March 22nd this photo of Anna and Elsa meeting guests on the uh, Disney Fantasy, the cruise line that they are on for this week. And finally, they shared this photo of... This is a really unique towel I've never seen before. They said it kind of scared them a bit when they walked into their cabin on the Fantasy. It's, uh, that's very unique. I'm, I'm sure they know a lot of different types of uh, towel animals and that kind of stuff that they can do. So that's, I, I really like the, the chocolates as the eyes and uh, their pinchers are grabbing. That's pretty cool. All right, that's going to do it for this week on the Weekly Rewind. Be sure to tune into the show this Thursday. As I said earlier, we'll have a full report from the Mermaid Academy as well as Drip on iDrive. You definitely don't want to miss this week's episode. So until next week on the Weekly Rewind, I'm Banksley. Thanks for tuning in. Have fun.